Hi guys, I am Salim and I am here today with you with a small video how to draw the diagram of heart in the simplest, easiest way. I know this is one of the most perplexing diagrams people always get and they are confused about all the blood vessels going left, right, so many kinds of you know, connections, this, flow of blood, or then various you know, veins, arteries, along with that, the, uh, the valves, everything, I know. So let's get directly to the video, how to draw it in a very simple way. <coughs> At first, just we have to draw a V-shape, all right, and then in the center of the V-shape, we're going to draw two lines, which is nothing but the septum. And let's draw the wall of the heart all the way like this. And the wall of the heart all the way like this. You might be noticing something that this part is a bit thicker because, because this part is the left ventricle, which is the most thickest part of the heart. Let's continue <coughs> here. We prepare small notches like that. And here also we will just draw. This is our first step of drawing the diagram. So I hope it is very simple, this part. Let's get to the second step. Okay. So in second step, basically what we are going to do, we have to draw one small notch like this. Sorry. Okay, like this, and the edge of that must be found going over the way and making a notch like this. You can notice this two edges notches. All right, now this will go all the way like this, and from here, you know, this connection will go a bit like this and take it on so that is part two hope it is clear let's get to next okay so this is basically a blood vessel and this are the this uh, this is a blood vessel and this is the left ventricle and this is going to what uh, bring the blood inside like that let's discuss that at the end now <coughs> here same way we have to prepare another valve by drawing this and its edge will be pointing like this and from here it just go all the way up so you can just see there's a blood vessel going from this side and this will coins just you know reach somewhere here you notice this this is taking a turn so to that place it will reach <coughs> and from there this will turn like this Sorry, it became a little thick. Okay, and then it goes all the way. So there is there is one blood vessel. You can just see this blood is going all the way like this. Okay, so that is third step. So once we've got this much, let's proceed for the next step. Okay, so in that, what should we do? We should just prepare the left and right uh, atrium. So for that, there are two blood vessels join, joining from the left side. So, two blood vessels. Okay. And there are two blood vessels joining from the, at the right side. So, all right. So, here we go. There are two blood vessels on the right side also. Now, let us lock over here and let us lock this over here. So, we are carrying the right and the left atrium okay what is next now only a little what blood vessels remaining for us to draw okay the blood vessel which we drew till here okay we have to now make it always double wall like this it's just now this blood vessel is just turning two sides left and right it's going to both the sides and where we can see here we have drawn this blood vessel and we have drawn this blood vessel in between that it, it's traveling all the way like 
five days. So this let this go. You notice that this is traversing behind this and coming like this and just reaching here it divides to two. Okay, now we are almost done. 99% of the work is done. What is next? Okay, it's very simple. This part is open now. This part is open. We cannot keep it open. So we're just going to close that. All right, now this part is locked. And the same way, yeah, we're going to close this part. Okay, our diagram is complete. Let me mark all the parts and make you understand. I will use red color <coughs> for what? showing the left side because it contains pure blood oxygenated blood and the right side with blue color so left side we have left atrium left ventricle right atrium right ventricle so we have to use what blue for what right side so then it will be easy for it to understand because uh, the oxygenated blood is uh, light you know <coughs> not reddish color there is some color change. Now, the blood from the lungs, pure oxygenated blood from the lungs, reach to a, reach through the pulmonary artery. These two arteries are called pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery, and that blood once fill inside the left atrium will be pushed to the left ventricle through this particular small valve and that is a valve on the left side called bicuspid or mitral valve bicuspid or mitral valve let's get into what the next one this is left ventricle and these are the two things separating ventricles of both left sides and right side that's called septum so the separating one is called septum so and from the left ventricle the pure blood will just take a course this way and travel through this blood vessel which is called iota <coughs> this is the blood pumped throughout the body and as this is the part of the heart pumping blood throughout the body from heart till what the whole body parts it needs to work harder and that's why you can see this left ventricles are thicker okay so this is called iota iota a o r t a iota now let's get toward the right side so left side is over blood enter came through this but by the way you can notice here there is a valve at the entry of iota and that's called semi-lunar valve semi-lunar valve because that is taking the shape of what half moon that's why semi-lunar so guys that's all about the left part let's go to the right part now blood has gone to iota to the various parts of the body and up to uh, giving the oxygen to the cells tissues collects the carbon dioxide from the tissues and returns back to what to the to the heart and that returning is through two major blood vessels one from the upper portion of the heart to the head region second one from the lower portion of the heart from the heart to the bottom region so the blood the impure blood from the upper portion of the part coming to the heart is through this blood vessel and that's called superior vena cava this blood vessel is called okay so this particular blood vessel which enters here let me name it over here superior <coughs> the name goes superior vena cava superior vena cava and now that is from the top of the body so the uh, uh, impure blood reaching here from the bottom part of the body the lower half of the body the blood reaches through this blood vessel and that's called inferior okay this is the flow of blood and the marking goes here inferior <coughs> vena cava all right so now we have learned how blood reaching the right article atrium 
from the right atrium or auricle, the blood is pumped to the left, I mean right ventricle through the valve called tricuspid valve. Tricuspid valve. How to remember the name of tricuspid valve, bicuspid valve, everything I'm telling in what the previous video. If you have not seen that, you can go behind and see that video. Now, here we go ahead with what the blood reaching the right ventricle. Later on, push through this blood vessel, okay, and that is later going all the way like this, and the blood travels and completes the pathway to lungs. So this blood vessel, which is carrying it to the lungs, okay, and that's called the pulmonary, okay, here we go, pulmonary, anything related with lung, we use the word pulmonary, pulmonary artery. Please note, generally artery carries pure blood. This is the artery carrying impure blood. Generally veins carries impure blood. But this is the vein carrying impure. Sorry, I have written this artery. This is supposed to be pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein. Vein carrying pure blood. Okay. Sorry for the correction. Okay. This is called pulmonary artery. And now the blood has gone to the lungs. And you notice the blood from the heart. This is the heart and here is the lung. So from heart to lungs, it's just little push. Whereas heart to muscles, large heart to the body parts, large amount of push is required, isn't it? So that's why this, this wall, right ventricle as it is sending to lungs, here see heart to lungs, very little, little space to travel, little distance to travel. So it's very simple. It will reach like this and the right ventricle is not thick. Whereas the left ventricular valve is much more, the wall is much more thicker in the left ventricle. So that's all how to draw the diagram of heart. Hope you liked it. And so many people are asking me to draw the diagram of uh, nephrons, diagram of brain. These will be posted in the next video. Till then, bye bye.